Hello, my name is Kylie. Today we're going to be talking about Omega T. If you don't already have it, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can download it for yourself. Today we're going to be talking about term bases in Omega T. Those are very important to translation. And in Omega T, they call it a glossary. You can see this little glossary window here at the bottom right. That is where it starts when you open up Omega T, but you can move it around. If you hit this button here that says undock, it will pop it out and you can move it wherever you want, be it over the window or not. Um, and then if you want to put it back, you can just hit dock and it'll go right back to where it was. Now to add an item to the glossary, you can either hit control shift G, that's G as in glossary, or you can come over here to settings and add a glossary entry. You'll get this little box that comes up. You put the source language into the source term and the target term is from the target language, the more or less equivalent that you would like to have in your glossary. It's good to have um, commentary for yourself specifically grammatical information in this notes box um, or things like how to form the plural if it's irregular and then that's now in your glossary it only pops up if whatever it is is what's in the highlighted row uh, you can see I've already opened up a project so that we can look at it. You can also look at the glossary itself by coming over here and hitting open writable glossary file or by going through project, access project contents, and then writable glossary and that'll pull you up a text file. And you can see this is what we just put into our glossary a minute ago. If you'd like to start another term you can hit enter and then put in your, ooh, goodness, um, source term, hit tab once to your target term, and then you can hit tab again to access your notes. Oops. And then if you come up here to file, you can hit save. Or when you exit out of it, it will ask you if you want to save before you close it. Then um, when you're working, it can bring up um, items in the glossary. that are in the item that's being highlighted. They'll appear here and look like this, that you'll have your source term and your target term and the uh, notes that you have for it. You can also, as this is extreme cold as in a noun, and this is called the adjective in German, you can create a new one with the same source term and that'll appear next to it. And this is what it looks like when there are multiple terms with the same, that, that match. Now, if you open up your writable glossary file, you'll see that they are two separate entries in the glossary, not two entries that are together. They are separate. I hope that helped you answer your questions that you might have had coming into this and that you now understand how to use a glossary or a or create a term base in Omega T. Um, if again, if you hit access project contents from the project, you can open up glossaries and it'll give you the option to load in a glossary that you already have. And if you want to use this glossary elsewhere, you can simply come into the Omega T file system, 
that you've created for that is created for each project that you've done and come into the glossary folder and you'll find your glossary right there that should answer any questions that you have about the glossary and about term-based usage in Omega-T.